Hello guys, today a very traditional Tuscany recipe, really, really traditional one. Salsa di fegatini. It's a liver pate. It's not like the French pate de foie, nothing, nothing at all. It's, um, we make this uh, Tuscany recipe, we make it with um, chicken liver, okay? It's very famous, it's very, very good. I like so much pate, uh, la salsa di fegatini, and um, you know it's very good with uh, you know Tuscany bread with the bruschetta. If you uh, grill your Tuscany bread, you put some salsa di fegatini. Uh, you can drink, of course, with uh, a red chianti, and um, very good, very tasty. Mm, so please uh, follow my recipe and make your salsa di fegatini. See you! So to make our salsa di fegatini we have of course the fegatini, that it means chicken livers, okay? Or you can use also a liver and the kidney of the chicken, okay? One big onion, chopped onion. Uh, one spoon of capers, okay, in vinegar. Then from my garden here we have laurel, the laurel leaf, and rosemary, and sage, okay? Uh, three or four anchovies under oil, a little bit of tomato paste, and then vegetable stock, okay? Actually, it would be much, much better the chicken stock, of course, but I didn't have, I just have vegetable stock, so it will be okay. So let's start. So we, so we start with our, um, our pan. We put a little bit of olive oil. When it's quite hot, we add the, all the onion, okay? All of it, like this. And we wait a few minutes until you know become brown, okay? Brown, mm, not burn, just brown, uh, blonde, okay? Let's say blonde is much better. So see you later. So guys, our onion, you see, is uh, frying, okay, like this. And as uh, the onion fry, we wash the mm, fegatini the chicken liver like this under the water okay so the chicken liver are, is very is washed very well now with a knife like this we cut like this okay in very big pieces you see? So, as I told you, this is a really traditional Tuscany recipe. We make a salsa di fegatini in all of Tuscany, you know, from north to south of Tuscany. It's very good. As I told you, chicken liver or um, chicken and uh, um, kidney or also the heart of the chicken, okay? So when it's like this, you see, yeah, it's perfect. So guys, after the liver, the chicken liver, we do the same with the rosemary and sage. Okay, like this. Voila. And I think we are ready to go to the fire. So follow me. So guys, here we are, our um, onion, after 10 minutes, you see, is almost ready. So we add the liver, the chicken liver, all of it. The sage, um, no, sorry, the cappers, like this. And then, voila, the sage and the rosemary, all of it. Voila! We mix all together. The smell, guys, so good. We cover 
and we cook for a little bit. I don't know where is it the um, the oh the cap is here. We cover and we cook for a little bit. I don't know how long, but I will tell you later. So, guys, sorry, I forgot. Also, the the laurel, the laurel leaf, the bay leaf. I don't know the name of these actually. Do you see all of it? So, guys, remember um, onion, then cappers, uh, onion, then the um, chicken liver. And then cappers, then sage and rosemary and laurel, okay? We cook, I think, for 10 minutes, but see you later. I will tell you later. Guys, after 10 minutes, yes, our liver is half cooked. And we add, I did, I forgot, sorry to tell you before, one glass of white wine, all of it, and let's evaporate for a little bit, probably other 5-10 minutes, okay? Guys, after 10 minutes, more or less, the wine evaporates, our liver is almost dry, so it's time for a little bit of salt, like this, a little bit of pepper, Voila! And then, guys, we add the toma tomato paste, all of it. And we cover with the boiling um, vegetable water, okay? All of it. Okay very boiling like this and we leave there on the fire probably for i think half an hour of course i have no idea as always i will tell you later okay so see you later so guys at the end this is our pate you see it's quite hard quite dry let me remove the the leaf uh, you know the bay leaf i don't know how do you call this then now it's time to add our anchovies our butter of it we mix all together and then you need this one i'll show you later to prepare our um our pate because uh, our salsa di fegatini is ready. So, see you later. So guys, as I told you, we use the food meal. Okay, you do this. Voila. And of course you do this. Hope, I think you have this in US. Well, in US or, or the rest of the world. Like this. I mean, you can use also the a food blender but, um, you know, I'm quite traditional. I prefer, you know, the old-fashioned style. If you have food meal, that will be much better. Because with the food processor, I think, processor, I think it becomes too liquid. Okay, so try with the food meal. It's much, much better. So see you later. I will show you when it's finished. So guys, to finish our recipe, if you have some good Italian state bread like this, make some, you know, slices like this and try to toss them. In Italy we use this, you see, try to toss them like this. Voila! And you have a really good um, Tuscany appetizer and I will show you how. Stay tuned! So guys, let's pretend to be in Tuscany again, do you see? I had this, uh, you know, lovely terracotta pot. We had, uh, we have our stale bread toasted. And very easy, guys. Like this, like it, we are, like in Tuscany, you see? A little bit of a fi salsa di fegatini. Oh, I miss, I need a glass of wine, but I'll have, um, I, I will take later, 
So guys, cheers. Guys, so good. Being Tuscany with me again and make my recipe and see you later. Bye. Send me pictures and videos. Ciao.